This is an example of a problem where we'd want to use the quotient rule to differentiate. The quotient rule is used when we have a fraction or we have a, some kind of rational expression. So we're going to break this down into the numerator and denominator. So we're going to let the numerator be the 4x part and the denominator, the bottom of the fraction, is going to be 5x minus 1. We need to differentiate these two expressions, so we'll differentiate u to get du dx, and it's just going to be 4. We'll differentiate v to get dv dx, and that will be 5. The formula for the quotient rule to give us the gradient dy dx, it looks quite complicated, but it's like this. It's the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom okay and all of that is divided by v squared so that's what we've got to do we've got to assemble all of that so if we begin to substitute them in so that means we're doing v times du so that will be 5x minus 1 multiplied by 4 and we're subtracting u times dv so that's going to be 4x multiplied by 5 and it's all divided by v squared so that's going to be 5x minus 1 squared let's see if we can simplify this so expanding the brackets on the top gives us 20x minus 4 minus 20x and again it's all divided by that we're not going to expand the brackets because it generally makes things more complicated so that will cancel with that and it's going to leave us with okay it's going to be everything over 5x minus 1 squared and on the top we've got 4 and it will be negative In this second example we're going to try and move things along a bit more quickly this time so we're not going to write down the formula explicitly so to use the quotient rule to find dy dx the formula tells us that it's the bottom times the derivative of the top okay if you differentiate log x you'll get that and it's minus the top times the derivative of the bottom so we differentiate and we get 3x squared and all of that is divided by the bottom squared so all we've got to do now is simplify try and simplify the algebra so on the top we're going to have x cubed times 1 over x well that will just give us x squared and there isn't a lot we can simplify about that so that's going to give us 3x squared log x. On the bottom, we'll get x cubed squared, which is x to the power of 6. There's some common factors of x that we can take out here. So it's going to be x squared on the top. We can take that out. Minus 3 log x. And on the bottom, if we take out a factor of x squared, it leaves us with x to the power of 4 on the bottom. So we can cancel those, and that leaves us with 1 minus 3 log x divided by x to the power of 4. So that's the gradient.